As always, it is so great to have you here. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and feeling fabulous at the same time. Anyways, today we are making another delicious one pan pasta dish that comes together in just 30 minutes. We're talking a one pan creamy salmon pasta. This dish has so many beautiful flavors to it. It's very healthy for you and it's super easy to put together, folks. Like I always tell you, this is what great food is all about. Using everyday ingredients that you can easily find at your supermarket and creating an extraordinary dish that packs some serious goodness. If this is your first time here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified when I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on the Floor Kitchen. To all my returning subscribers, welcome back. So we're just gonna dive right into this recipe. I'm gonna grab a large fry pan. Important to use a larger pan here. This is a one pan pasta dish, which means that the pasta gets cooked in the same pan with all the ingredients. So you want it to be large enough to hold all the ingredients and the water. I'm gonna heat it with a medium high heat and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. Now the olive oil I'm using to make this dish is from Apollo. This is their Miller's favorite organic extra virgin olive oil. This is one of my personal favorite olive oils. Incredible flavor. Link where you can get some in the description box below. While the olive oil is heating, let's get the salmon ready. I've got a piece of your fresh salmon. This is 550 grams, which is about 16 ounces. I'm going to trim off a little bit of the fat from the end. Cut it into two evenly sized fillets and season the salmon with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. After heating the olive oil in the pan for two minutes, I'm going to add the fillets of salmon into the pan, skin side up. Now using a spatula, I'm going to gently push down on each fillet of salmon just for about 30 seconds. This is going to give it a beautiful crusty sear. After about three minutes, I'm going to flip the fillets of salmon to cook the other side. Now the thickness of these are a little over an inch, which is about three centimeters. So three minutes per side is the ideal time. If yours are a little bit thinner, go for about two minutes per side. After a total cooking time of six minutes, that's three minutes per side, these fillets of salmon should be perfectly cooked. I'm gonna remove them from the pan and we'll set them aside and cover it with some foil paper. That way they stay nice and warm. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add in one small onion that I finely diced and four cloves of garlic that I roughly minced and start mixing the garlic and onion around with that olive oil and that rendered fat from the salmon. The pan's very hot right now, so you wanna make sure you mix this continuously, that way the ingredients don't burn and they all evenly saute. After about two minutes and the onion is nice and translucent and that garlic lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in a generous half teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. This is 1.30 grams. And we'll give this a quick mix. That way that paprika is evenly coating the garlic and onions. Then I'm gonna add in a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes, which is 400 grams. Two tablespoons of finely chopped parsley, which is about eight grams. And season generously with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this a mix, that way all the ingredients are evenly mixed together. Once everything's well mixed, I'm gonna add in two cups of water, which is about 475 milliliters. And we'll give this a quick mix, and continue heating it on a medium high heat until that water comes to a boil. Once the water comes to a boil, it's time to add the pasta. Now I'm gonna be using penne pasta here, but you can use whatever pasta you like. I'm gonna measure out two cups, which is 200 grams. This recipe feeds two people, which is one cup per person. And we'll add the penne pasta into the pan with the boiling water. And we'll give this a quick mix. That way that pasta is evenly distributed throughout the pan.
While the pasta is cooking, let's move back to the salmon. Using a fork, I'm going to start flaking the pieces of salmon to end up with some big chunks of salmon. Once the salmon has been flaked, I'm going to remove the skins from the pieces of salmon. As you can see, after you cook the salmon with the skin, you can easily remove it. All right, let's move back to our pasta. It's been about 9 to 10 minutes since I added the pasta into the pan. And as you can see, a lot of that water has been absorbed by the pasta, but there's still plenty of water left. For the next step, I'm going to add in a generous 2 cups of fresh spinach that I roughly chopped. This is about 100 grams. And I'm also going to add in the pieces of salmon that we have reserved. I'm going to place a lid on the pan and lower the fire from a medium high heat to a low medium heat. And we're going to simmer this on a low medium heat for about 4 minutes. This is enough time for all that remaining water to be absorbed by the pasta. That way it's perfectly cooked and for that spinach to be fully wilted. After simmering this for about 4 minutes, I'm going to turn off the heat and remove the lid from the pan. And I'm going to leave the pasta to sit here at room temperature just for about a minute. That way it can slightly cool off. Then we'll add in one container of Greek yogurt at room temperature over the pasta. The size of this container is 125 grams, which is about half a cup. And once again, so important, make sure your Greek yogurt is at room temperature. Otherwise, it can easily curd. And I'm going to season the Greek yogurt generously with some freshly cracked black pepper. The black pepper brings out an incredible flavor in the yogurt. And we'll give this a gentle mix. That way that Greek yogurt is coating all the ingredients in the pan. And we'll sprinkle it with some freshly chopped parsley. Our one pan creamy salmon pasta is done. You saw it. Easy to make. Beautiful presentation. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Now this is one heck of a good looking pasta. Here we go. Absolutely mind blowing delicious. But first things first is the texture on that pasta. It's cooked right on the money. It's al dente. It's got such a great texture to it. And as for the rest of the ingredients, all that beautiful salmon, the spinach and the Greek yogurt that gives it that creamy texture. You saw this. So easy to make. Simple ingredients. Very healthy. It's going to fill your body with so much goodness. Try it at home. You're going to absolutely love it. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Darren Allen, Linda Bufano, and Hollis Halmechi. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain Off Work. It's thanks to you and the rest of my patrons why Spain Off Work continues to drive forward. If you're not a patron, consider becoming one. It really helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.